Hey everyone, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and today I'm going to show you exactly what parts to get and where to get them to build an incredibly affordable electric bike. I'm talking super budget level. And the idea for this came from a few days ago when I was browsing Reddit, I saw some discussions about different cheap e-bike kits out there. And it made me think about how on my channel, I've not really shown some of those cheaper kits. You know, I've shown a lot of the, the middle range kits, we're talking like six, $800. I've also shown some of the nicer kits. I built a 40 mile an hour e-bike with a $1,200 or $1,300 kit. So I've shown uh, sort of the, the middle and higher end range, but I haven't done a lot of these budget kits. And the reason for that is I think I generally try to invest a little bit more into my e-bikes when I can because I prefer to have something that's a little higher quality and something that's going to last longer. But I definitely remember back to when I was just like a broke college student and I was building e-bikes on an ultra budget and I was doing things like instead of buying one roll of red wire and one roll of black wire, I would just get one roll of red wire and paint half of it black and things like that. So I've been there and I know what it's like to want to do all these cool projects but not have a bunch of spare change to spend on this stuff. So today I'm going to go through the process of planning out the most affordable electric bike conversion that I can. So every part I choose, the overall goal here is going to be reduce cost as much as possible. All right, so let's get started. And to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is start with my motor kit. Now there are different ways to go here. A lot of people like mid drives, some people prefer hub motors, but both of those are going to be in the medium to more expensive range of kits. If you really wanna go cheap, you need to go with one of these chain motors. And so I'm looking at a few different models here. I'm gonna pull one up here on AliExpress. And as you can see, at $105, including the motor, the sprockets, the chain, the throttle, the controller, mounting, everything here, $105 is about as cheap as you can possibly go on one of these conversion kits. Every now and again, I see one of these for like, I don't know, $98, so maybe you're saving five bucks here or there. But I think about $100, or uh, in this case, $105, is about as cheap as you can go here. And this is not a fancy kit, okay? So don't get your hopes up here. This is not an amazing kit. This one is uh, 36 volts. It's gonna be, be about 350 watts. And this is just old technology. It's a brushed motor, it's a brushed controller. Um, this is a left side drive motor. So basically you're gonna take this sprocket and you're gonna mount it onto the left side of your wheel. And the motor is gonna mount just above it on the chain and the seat stay and it's going to power your your rear wheel just kind of like a motorcycle where it's got a sprocket on the uh, left side so there's nothing high tech here there's nothing fancy simple parts simple throttle simple controller but it will work and there are lots of people that have used these kits and there are people that are happy with them so this is a great way to start with a budget kit because you can get a fully functional electric bicycle maybe without some of the fancy features like a nice LCD display or you know the feature of not hearing a whirring chain the whole time. <laughs> this one happens to be on AliExpress but uh, you can get these from Amazon or other vendors as well. Here I've pulled one up on Amazon. This is from a vendor known as Lfaster and this one's $103. $104 and there's free shipping so you know if you're in the US this one could be a good option I'll put links to all of the parts that I'm using in the description below this video but basically if you search around for these uh, chain kits then that'll be a good way to start with a very low-end budget e-bike that will work again this isn't crap you know these these parts work they've been in use for like a decade there's just nothing new or fancy about them it's it's old tech that just kind of works all right, so the first piece of the kit on our parts list is the motor kit coming in at $105.42. So next I'm gonna look at batteries. And to reduce the cost as much as possible, I'm gonna have to go with some type of DIY battery. There's just no way I'm gonna be able to buy a retail battery and keep the cost as low as I want it to be. That being said, you don't have to start with bare cells. There are ways to build your own battery that's a lot simpler and takes a lot less work than starting with bare 18650 cells. So in this case, I think I can use a couple of these uh, overstock uh, hoverboard batteries like you can see here. So these are 36 volt batteries. That means they're built in a 10S configuration. And this style is usually a 10S 2P. It's got uh, 10 cells in series, two in parallel, and that gives it uh, about 4.4 amp hours if they're using 2.2 amp hour cells. And these packs are usually good for about 10 amps continuous, maybe a bit more, but I definitely wouldn't want to push them more than that. 
in this case, one is likely not going to be enough for the needs of that kit that I've already chosen. So I would want to go with two of these batteries and I would just wire them in parallel. That would give me uh, still a 36 volt battery because parallel is not going to increase the voltage, but it will increase the capacity. So my capacity is going to double from 4.4 amp hours to 8.8 .8 amp hours. The uh, parallel nature is also going to mean that each pack only has to do half as much work. So at 36 volts and 8.8 .8 amp hours, that's, let me get my calculator here, 36 times 8.8. .8. So we're at just over 300 watt hours. That's not a big battery, but for cruising around town, 300 watt hours is going to do it for you. And in terms of wiring these things in parallel, it's not a lot of effort. If you really want to splurge, you can get yourself one of these pre-made adapters. And then you can just plug the thing in. But uh, if you're like me, you probably have wire and connectors just laying around in a junk drawer that you can wire these packs in parallel. Now, there are other options as well. You're not going to find a lot of batteries like this on Amazon, but there are sites like um, Battery Hookup that have 36 volt packs. This one looks like it came out of a scooter, and it's again a similar price. You know, we're talking 30 bucks compared to that um, $32 of the hoverboard pack. Obviously, there will be shipping with uh, US sites. You're not going to get the kind of free shipping that you get with AliExpress but it is going to be local. So if you're in the US, you'll probably get this faster than if you ordered from AliExpress. There are different ways to find these packs. Uh, you can just you know Google around for hoverboard packs, scooter packs, that sort of thing. Uh, or if you wanna build your own battery, you can certainly do that. Let's see, I think um, Battery Hookup here also has cells. So dirt cheap batteries. Let's go to, here we go. So you can get 18650 cells. These are about a dollar and a half, dollar sixty. And all of these are used cells. You know, they ripped them out of um, maybe laptops or other, you know, backup batteries, drills, all sorts of things. So they're not going to be new batteries. But if we're building on a budget like I'm trying to do here, this could be a good way to get some cheap cells to build your own battery. So now we can go ahead and add those two batteries to our parts list. And that's going to add another $64.46. All right, next we're going to need somewhere to put those batteries, and so I'm going to look for a frame bag, and again, I can go to AliExpress here and just find some dirt cheap options. So this one is $4.80 for a frame bag. There's nothing fancy about it, but it'll get the job done. This one actually has $0.42 cent shipping here, so we're going to be a bit over $5, but all right, I can splurge the 5 bucks for a frame bag. That'll be okay. And adding that bag to our parts list puts another $5.22 on our project. All right, next, uh, let's look at chargers. So we're going to need to charge that battery somehow. It's a 10S battery, 36 volts. That means it's going to need to charge at 42 volts. Um, again, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll remember this, but just in case you haven't, the way to determine your charger voltage is you take 4.2 volts times the number of cells in series. In this case, it's 10 cells in series. So 4.2 times 10 gives you your 42 volts. So here I found a 42 volt charger on AliExpress. This probably came from a hoverboard as well. Actually, yeah, I show the hoverboard here. So this is meant for a hoverboard, which works well because we're using hoverboard packs, but this will charge any standard 36 volt lithium ion battery. Next, we can toss that charger onto our parts list. Let's throw another $6.50 up there. This looks like a 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter DC barrel connector. So I'll need a female connector. You might have one laying around the house, but if you don't, again, I'll just come over here to AliExpress. I can find all sorts of options. This one, I can get two of them for $1.21. Works for me, you know, 60 cents a connector, I can do that. And if we toss that female charging connector on there as well, we're gonna put another $1.21 on the board. All right, so now that I have all of those parts compiled, if I go through and I add up all of the pieces, we end up with a total of $182.81, which is kind of amazing when you think about it. Now, as I mentioned, none of these parts are amazing, but they're all going to work. You know, that motor kit is used on hundreds of thousands, probably millions of e-bikes at this point. It's just been produced over and over and over again. And so it's kind of tried and true technology. When it comes to those batteries, they're not amazing. They're not gonna last you forever. They're probably not going to get the rated capacity and they're not going to be the best batteries you ever use. But if you want the experience of an electric bike and you want to do it on the ultra cheap, then it is hard to beat a 36 volt, eight and a half, almost nine amp hour battery for like 60 something bucks. You know, that's kind of amazing. Each one of those batteries has 20 cells in it. It has a BMS, uh, doesn't come with a charger, but like we saw, you can get that for six bucks. 
So it's kind of amazing that you can put all of these parts together and build a fully functional electric bicycle. In fact, now I kind of want to do this. When I started planning this, I figured it would just be a sort of thought experiment. I'd show you guys how to go out there and find all of the parts that you need to create an electric bike on an extremely low budget. But now that I've put all of these parts together, I kind of want to test this out and see just how good of an e-bike we can build with these parts. You know, how's it going to compare to a $600 or a $1,000 e-bike kit? So I think I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and get these parts that I showed you guys today and I'll make a video showing the build process and we'll test out this bike. Now it's probably going to take me another month or so because these parts are coming from China and AliExpress is known for its low prices but not for its fast shipping. So don't expect this next video to come out in the next week or two, but uh, in a month, maybe six weeks or so, once I get these parts in, I'm going to put these all together and let's see just how good of an e-bike we can make from this. All right, so I hope you guys found that video helpful. Uh, if you want to do this yourself, like I said, all those parts are going to be linked in the description below this video. So you can head down there and check them out. Or you can just sort of use the strategy that I showed you on how to look for these types of parts from different vendors. But before we go, last but not least, it is time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video. And the winner is... Jordan Krebs. So congratulations, Jordan. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either my book on DIY lithium batteries, on DIY solar power, my book on building your own electric uh, bicycles, or a book on electric motorcycles. And anybody else who wants to win one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment below this video. You can say anything you want, and hopefully you will be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.